Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. Now this one is super fun. I'm so excited about this one. So this is a little spool, a wooden spool that I wrapped in my um, scrap fabric. I had about, I don't know, maybe a quarter yard of this blue gingham and I really went to town with it. I was able, because all my ornaments are sort of small, I was really able to kind of make it stretch. Um, so I've got that. And then these wooden spools, you may not, or may not know this, but these are available in a variety of sizes in the craft store. In Joann's, at Michael's, they have these wooden spools. I don't really truly know what they're supposed to be for, but as a sewist, I'm like, hello, that looks just like, you know, something that you would wrap fabric or yarn around. So they also come in this little adorable itty bitty size, which I love. And then if you don't want to use scrap fabric and you want to make it look a little bit more like an actual spool of thread, you can just wrap yarn around it and it looks very thread-like there. Um, to get the fabric around the spools, I simply just cut the fabric to the same width as the spool and then put a bead of hot glue, wrapped it around and another bead of hot glue and um, there's a seam on the back, but you'll never ever be able to see it. Uh, with the thread, I just started with some glue, wrapped all the way around to the end and then finished off with some glue over here. So there's just one layer of yarn going around um, this spool. Um, and then if you are slightly neurotic like me, then you keep your empty uh, thread spools anyways, like this is a Guterman one, and you can reuse this, like a truly upcycled situation where you're using scraps of fabric, scraps of yarn, and an old empty spool. So you could do that as well. They also, you know, come in these little beige colors. I obviously keep mine. I probably should utilize them and put them on the tree or something, but <laughs> for now they just kind of collect in the drawer under my machine. Okay, so that one's pretty straightforward. I have a few different sizes of this one. I did end up staining the wood for a different project that I'm going to tell you guys about um, here shortly, but um, the wood stain did take really well and it does give it that little bit more of like a rustic um, vibe. And oh, also to get the, um, the, to get the hook on there, all I did was tie, uh, you know, the twine together. I tied it in a knot, thread the folded end up through the hole that's in the spool and it just hangs from this little knot on the bottom. Really straightforward and simple um, to get that little hook on there. Just make sure you give yourself enough space to hang it on a branch.